Hello and welcome to the IBM Monitoring Academy. My name is Saurabh Nachne and I work with the IBM Cloud team. In today's video, I am going to show you how to configure a log file agent with the basic settings on a Windows machine. As you can see, I have Tivoli log file agent version 6.3 IF5 installed on my Windows server. I also have the infrastructure components that's the TEPS and the TEMS at version 622 FixPack 6. This is a requirement for the log file agent version 6.3 and higher. They need infrastructure at 622 FixPack 2 or higher. Also note that in this video, I am going to configure the log file agent to use the format and configuration files from the base location. There is a second way to configure the log file agent using the auto discovery mode, but I am only going to show how to configure it in the base mode. As you can see on the Windows server, I already have three instances of the log file agent configured. For the new instance that I'm going to configure for this session, I have the test conf and test FMT files already created. These are located in the C slash LO directory. And if you notice in the conf file, it is going to look at the source log which is test.log and it's present in the C Tivoli folder. So all the entries that are made in the test.log file will be registered by the log file agent. Now I will proceed with the configuration of the instance. I'm going to go ahead and select configure using defaults and the instance is going to be named test. Once I get the prompt back, I'll stick with most of the default entries that are in here. However, I'm not using omnibus, so I'm going to go ahead and select no for that. Now for the conf and the format files, as I'm doing a base setup, I'm going to enter the location of the conf and the format files. These are located in CLO. So I'm going to enter this information in here. However, please note that we also have to give the complete name of the file as well, which is test.conf for the configuration file. And the FMT file is test dot fmt I'm going to leave all the other entries as they are in the log file adapter global settings I'm going to leave all the entries as they are as well however I'm going to make a quick point here if I was using the auto discovery setting I would use this path to enter the location where the con format file pairs exist. In that case, the con file and format file can be left empty. Once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And this will complete the configuration of the log file agent. As you can see, there is the new instance which we configured right now. I'm going to go ahead and start the instance now. Once the instance is started, you will see the appropriate icon on the mtemps window. As this instance is located locally on this machine, and this machine hosts the temps and the teps as well, I'm go going to go to the TEPS window 
to identify if the agent has started reporting in here. Here you can see the test instance has started reporting in the TEP. Now under the data collection status, for a base instance configured in LFA, the first line should give you an error code saying no error. The second line de deals with auto discovery. So you may see a different error code, um, but we'll not talk about that in this particular video. Now under the monitored file status, I also want to point your attention to the last line where you see that the file test log is now being monitored. The file type and file status come in as regular file and OK respectively, which is what you want to see when you configure a base instance as well. The other files listed are for the other instances which are configured in this environment and those can be ignored. This particular line also gives you the number of records matched, not matched and processed. It also gives the file position and file size. This can be used to find out how many records are processed and where exactly does the um, processing lie in terms of how many entries are made in the test log and how many have been processed. If you look at the format file, this is the most basic regular expression you can have. It's basically going to process all the records that come in in the test log file. Again, this is a basic setup, so I just wanted to demonstrate the very basic things. Now I'm going to go ahead and make some entries in the test.log file and we will see how these come up in the TEP client. After making the entries in the test.log file, if you look under the monitored file status, you will see that the number of records matched and the number of records processed are now equal to 2 and the current file position has changed to 48 as well. Now let's take a look at the log file events workspace. Here you will see the two messages that I entered in the test log file have appeared in the TEP client as well. Since this was a demo, I made two entries in the log file, but in real world examples, the log file that is monitored will be automatically returned and those entries will populate in this workspace based on the regular expression defined. In conclusion, we configured a log file agent instance in base mode. It used the conf and format files that were defined. I will post a link at the end of this video with information about the log file agent. So hopefully you should be able to define the instances based on your needs. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video at the IBM Monitoring Academy. We appreciate your feedback, so please feel free to use the comments box below. We'd also love you to check the thumbs up box if you appreciated this video. We have added several helpful links to the YouTube comments box below so you can find all our other content on social media. I would definitely recommend that you check out the blogs on DevWorks. Take care.